This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome to a very special video. So you're probably thinking, what's so special about it? Well, what's special about it is that I am lost for words, and that doesn't happen that often. And the reason for that is that I just hit 35,000 subscribers on my channel. I never ever thought that would happen, and I'm really psyched about it, okay? So thank you so much, you guys. Now, you're probably expecting me to now run out and roll in the snow in my underwear or sing a stupid song or something like that. Uh, I'm not like that. What I'm gonna do for you guys is continue to make videos like I always have been doing for the last couple of years. So I'm really happy with your support. You guys are allowing me to do what I love, okay? So I'll keep on doing that as long as people will watch my videos, all right? So today, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Pixar, Pixar's new RenderMan 21 as a follow-up on my previous video. And I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, use some very cool preset materials. Okay, so here we go. Okay guys, well as mentioned in the introduction, welcome to this uh, very special video. For me it's special anyway, uh, 35,000 subscribers, pretty cool. And the link to that is that we're doing a video on Pixar's Render Man. And Pixar is where it all started for me, okay? So that's why it's special. So we're gonna look at uh, the uh, preset browser in Render Man 21, and um, it's brand new, it's released two days ago. I did a video yesterday on how to get it, how to uh, install it, and how to use the basics. And today we're going to look at how to apply all sorts of materials and environments, lighting and so forth. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to set up a basic scene. So we've got something to look at. So I'm going to go into my modeling menu to polygons. I'll take a straightforward plane just to open that up like so. And then I'll go to file and import. And I got this kind of swatch ball type thing that I want to use. And there we go. I'll just uh, hit R and scale that guy down a bit. After zoom in, we'll kind of find a nice angle for rendering. Make our ground plane slightly bigger, like so. And then go to View, Bookmark, Edit Bookmark, and we'll call this New. And Apply and Close. Okay, so ready to go. Well, what I told uh, you guys, if you saw it in my last video, is that RenderMan requires RenderMan materials and RenderMan lights. And right now we're using a standard gray uh, Lambert and um, we're using um, default lighting, okay? So what we need to do first is to apply uh, correct lighting to the sky and then we can work with our materials, okay? So uh, make sure you have your RenderMan menu up here or you have it down here with all these buttons. If you do not, go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager. Come on, there we go. And you scroll down and you look for, uh, where is it? Render man for Maya.mll and make sure all of this stuff is checked. Okay, cool. So lighting, okay, uh, we're gonna go into our render man tab up here. We're gonna go to lights and I'm gonna scroll down to uh, daylight. And that's what I want to go with, okay? So I'm just going to click on that. You don't see anything happening, really. Uh, but what we're going to do next is we're going to open our attribute editor. So we're just going to hit Control-A to do that. And this will give us a number of options that we can tweak to adjust what our daylight looks like, okay? And before I tweak anything here, I'm going to use my IPR render so you can actually see what happens as we change it, okay? So I'm just going to hit my IPR here. And our IPR is our, let's call it our quick and dirty real-time render situation. So it kind of changes on the fly, if you will. And we'll just give that a sec. It's thinking about it. Now keep in mind that this normally would be much faster, but I'm using a um, screen recording software that's recording in a pretty big format. So it has a fairly a huge impact on my system. So normally this would be much, much quicker, okay? So you can see that it's uh, starting to render that out. That's fine. And we'll just uh, adjust that a little bit. I'll just position it correctly so we don't have to touch that anymore and we avoid further lagging, okay? Hang on. 
Okay guys, this is our setup. Um, it's using default lighting and I can barely see it. I don't know if you guys can, but you can see it's doing some real-time rendering there. And what we're going to do in our attribute editor is we're going to go in and we're not going to touch anything up here. We're just going to go to the month and let's uh, choose a nice summer day. Okay, so for the month, we'll do the month of June. And as we do that, we'll get a nice uh, drop down here. Let's do the 15th of June. And you can see that already our IPR is responding. Uh, we're in year 2016. And let's see, it's 12 o'clock, so it's noon. And what time zone? Um, I'm gonna do one, which is uh, plus one, where it, that's where I'm at. Ooh, that's quite dark. Let's do something else. I want it to be nice and bright. So minus eight. So that would probably be something like Arizona or so maybe. Let's see, okay. So that's cool. And then I have a latitude and a longitude, okay. So I got on my other screen a website where I can find that. Just Google latitude and longitude and just um, type in whatever city you want. And I'll just uh, go with uh, Tucson, Arizona, which is 32.2217 and 110.9265, okay? So what we'll do is we'll do, uh, let's see, 32 here, and we'll do 110 there, okay? Um, probably I need to adjust the hour because of how I set that up, the time zone, you know? Uh, so uh, let's see. We'll get there, okay. But you get the idea, right? You can uh, use your uh, longitude and longitude, your time zone, your area, and so forth. Now, we can tweak the uh, sun color if we like. We can go with slightly orange. We can take the sky color. We can do slightly blue. So bring that way up here. And you can see that everything is updated pretty much real time in our IPR here, okay? And then if you want it to be a bit brighter, we can actually manually tweak the intensity. So let's go with two, maybe even more than that. Let's do three, okay? So I'm happy with three, that's good. And now that we have that set up, we can go in and start to apply some materials, okay? So we're gonna close down our attribute editor. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna go up to this half moon shape deal up here. And that is our preset browser. So let's click on that. We'll give that a second. And as we do that, you can see that a menu pops up here with all sorts of uh, options that we have, right? Now, one thing I wanna start off with is uh, tweaking um, an HDRI image. So up here, you got this little uh, camera thingy and you got the, uh, let's see, that's the new environmental map that is the new light rig and that is a new material so here we're going to go with the picture of the little mountain we're going to click on that and i'll just open that up i'm just going to go to the folder where i keep my hdri images hopefully i can find it quickly you should be able to yeah there we go so let's see, I have uh, one that I use quite often. It's called the uh, Arches and uh, we'll just open that up and I'm just gonna hit save. And what I'm doing now is I'm saving that in a um, render man format, okay? So that's why you see that menu pop up, okay? Cool, so now that we have that set up, uh, let's see if we can apply some materials, okay? So I'm gonna select my object here and I'm gonna go into the options. So I have the, let's see, the acrylic type uh, material, okay? So let's take one of these here and I'll click on this one. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit import and assign to selected. And as we do that, you see that immediately on my preview render here, that changes, okay? So what else have we got? We got ceramics that you can choose from. Let's do this and the sign. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, composite, we got fabric. Let's try this here. 
Okay, pretty cool. So what else? Glass material. And this is in uh, some ways looks a lot like the presets that you can use in um, Metal Ray. Uh, but I just very much like how this is set up. Now keep in mind that the quality of my IPR render is based on my IPR render settings. So if I increase sample rate and so forth, this will look a lot better. But just for speed reasons, I did it this way. What about liquids? Okay, let's assign that. And as you can see, very, very cool. Metals, brushed metal, for example. And there you go. Uh, let's see, perforated. We got uh, just plain materials like, uh, you know, copper and chrome and so forth. Uh, metallic paint, glossy paint, matte paint. Minerals, uh, let's see, other synthetics. Uh, Teflon, pretty cool. Paint, so all sorts of painted surfaces, okay? Plastic, uh, rocks, rubber, wood even, all right? Let's do a wood texture. All right, cool. So that is how that all works. Now, you probably have a question about, okay, what if I have uh, created texture maps and I want to use them in RenderMan, okay? What you do is you take your object and you apply your texture to it as you would normally do in Maya. Uh, so just uh, take a Lambert, for example, plug in your diffuse map. And then what you would do is you would go up to the button that I mentioned earlier which is, uh, let's see, this guy, new material. And as you click on that, you will rename it. So let's say that I just created this wood material and I would call it wood new. For example, I would make sure that I have the correct folder selected, in this case, wood, okay? Here I can put in my name. If I get multiple versions, I can do that and I can hit save, okay? Now, once I do that, and I will, a new material will be created called wood one, okay? And that wood is wood that I can uh, plug in, okay? So that is pretty much uh, all there is to it. Uh, hopefully it's enough for you guys to get started. Once again, a huge thank you for your support all of these years. And as long as you guys, um, you know, uh, like my videos, I will continue to make them, okay? So have fun with RenderMan and see you guys soon, bye.